Yo, so I just want to say one of the most important things in this world is confidence. You feel me? Confidence is a make or break in so many things and on so many levels. And it's something that people can sense on you when you walk in the room. It's what separates people. You feel me? Like, it's a very big game changer in this world. All right? And I feel like a lot of people lack self-confidence. Sometimes I lack self-confidence. And I know the younger version of me lacked self-confidence very, very hard. I was still the same person I am now to a certain extent when it came to the way people perceived me. But the way that I perceived myself allowed me to put limitations on where I could go, who I could talk to, the things I could wear, what I could buy, all types of stuff. Limitations I was imposing on myself because of the lack of confidence that I had in myself. Nobody was saying I couldn't or that I wasn't good enough, you feel me? Or that I wasn't cool or anything, you feel me? But because I wasn't confident in my own behavior, demeanor, and mannerisms, I allowed it to detour me from doing things that I actually wanted to do. So I don't want that to happen to y'all, you feel me? So I'm making this video on how to be confident, you feel me? Say it with your chest. So, first things first. In order to be more confident, Embrace your strengths, all right? Because we all have certain skills and abilities and gifts that suit us, that suit our personalities, that suit our gifts, that suit our talents, you feel me? And so if you spend your time looking at someone else's gifts and talents and saying it's something that you don't possess, you're gonna feel bad about that. But if you spend your time pointing out where your strengths are, you feel me? The places where you excel and making a mental note of those, then make a a actual note of it and write down I am good at blank you feel me I am very hard working you feel me write down positive traits about yourself and remind yourself of the good things you do possess and are capable of oh we all have unique abilities and talents so as opposed to comparing yourself to others and pointing out the qualities and traits and things that you don't have, make a list of the things that you do possess and the strengths that you do possess and focus on those to build your confidence. Second thing you can do, fake it till you make it. You feel me? Nobody knows what's really going on in your head except for you. So you could be shaking in your boots. I'll tell you this. Oh, one of my coworkers was like, when are you ever nervous? I was like, I'm nervous every third person you hear me talk to in here. I just learned not to let it show on my face. You feel me? Because when you get nervous, people around you feel uncomfortable or they can sense the fact that you feel hesitant. So as opposed to letting it display, I'm just thinking about it. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm looking at somebody right now. So I'm going to smile and I'm going to talk very friendly. Like I know exactly what's going on because I'm going to control this interaction in this situation. And even if I don't know what is going on when the interaction starts, by the end of it, I have an understanding. And just on an energetic level, the person starts to vibe with me because I'm confident. I can literally be tripping over the words that I'm saying. And I will say it with a smile on my face. Take a deep breath and be like, oh, it's start over. You feel me? Take a deep breath. But, oh, excuse me. And just start over. If you don't notice it, people will let it slide. You feel me? If you maintain that same energy, that same confidence feel, people are going to be like, oh, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> and another thing I realized is that a lot of people are just as self-conscious as you are. You feel me? A lot of people aren't confident themselves. A lot of people fake it. And especially once they get older, once people hit like 35, they just start walking in faith that what they're doing makes sense. You feel me? They don't know. They just be like, well, we made it this far. I guess what we was right. And you just start walking like, don't, it doesn't matter. You feel me? And so another reason to say fake it until you make it is the placebo effect. You feel me? If you think something is true, it'll begin to affect you as if it's true. So if you fake like you have confidence in that you're secure in what's going on and then yourself on a regular basis, by a certain point in time, you're not really gonna be faking it because it's just become the status quo and you've implemented that belief so hard in the core of your being that it's just become true. And so that's one thing I will say to people, 
is hypnotize yourself to believe things about yourself. Now, don't go lie to yourself. If you 5'9", don't be like, oh, I'm 6'2". I believe I'm 6'2". No, you're still going to be 5'9". But when it comes to speaking in front of people, you don't want to remember, oh, I suck at speaking in front of people. I hate talking in front of large groups of people. I always trip over my words. I never know what to say. Just be like, look, oh, I got to talk in front of this large group of people. I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to speak loud. I'm going to stand up straight. And so the third thing I want to talk about when it comes to confidence is physicality. You feel me? Body language speaks volumes, especially when interacting with people. If you walk up to somebody and your head is looking down like this and your shoulders are rounded in, it seems like you're trying to go in on yourself, like you're trying to shrink away. You're making yourself small. If you walk up to somebody with your head down, they're going to assume that you're either kind of shady, you're hiding something, or you're not in a positive mood. Regardless, the fact that you're not looking up, making eye contact, and looking away is going to be kind of uncomfortable. So they're not going to want to continue to interact with you. If your shoulders are slumped over and you're looking down, like I said, it looks like you're trying to hide. So it's like if you walk up to somebody with that type of energy, they're going to feel it and be like, I feel, I feel uncomfortable trying to talk to you, bro. It doesn't seem like you really actually want my attention. Like, But if you walk up to somebody, shoulders back, head up, big smile on your face, when you walk up to them, they're going to be like, oh, let's see the big old smile. The open body language when your shoulders are back and your chest is open. One, you're showing the world I'm here. You feel me? I'm here and I'm here for you. And I've taught this in school. When you open up your shoulders, you're opening up the space where your heart is. So you're opening up your heart space to be more receptive of the world around you. But at the same time, you're more able to give out your energy to the world around you. So it's a conversation, a give and a take. If you're like this, you can't really give too much out because all your energy is going that way. And if people are trying to give it back to you, your chest is closed off. So you're not even getting all of that energy back and you're not looking at where it's coming from. So that is another thing that I will say will improve your self-confidence drastically is just your physicality. Put your shoulders back, open up your chest, keep your chin up, and look people in the eye. Look people in the eye and smile. When you look people in the eye and smile, they're automatically going to smile. And when you notice they're smiling back at you, you're going to feel that energy and it's empowering. You did that. You put that smile in that person's face because you brought the smile in the room. You set the tempo of the room by walking in with confidence. You feel me? And another thing is your voice. Don't don't whisper, oh, excuse me, don't, don't be timid. No, you don't have to yell, but speak clearly and speak with your full voice. If you speak clearly and people can hear you, they're like, oh, I heard that. You feel me? What are you saying? If you're speaking directly at them while looking at them, it's just going to have a magnetism to it. If you're looking at them in the eye with your chest open and you're using your full voice, they're like, oh, he's talking to me. Okay. You feel me? As opposed to if you walk in and you're kind of looking over to the side and you're showing, like, um, yeah, excuse me. I just, everybody, shifty character. He doesn't even seem to know what he really wants right now. You feel me? And then the fourth thing that I'm going to do, or the fourth thing that I'm going to suggest that you do if you want to build more self-confidence is face your fears. If there's something you're afraid of, go do it. Because if you start doing the things that scare you, you'll start to empower yourself. And then you'll start to be proud of yourself. And then you'll be able to say, hey, I know that I can do this and I can do that. And this used to hold me back, but I overcame that. And now you're building a list that lets you know you ain't got nothing to be worried about or scared of. You can do whatever it is you set your mind to. Oh, some people say that confronting your fears is the quickest way to building self-confidence. You feel me? Because you're doing what scares you. If you can face your own fears, no one else's fears can scare you. You feel me? And so facing your fears can be anything from just speaking in public. Trying something new. Or standing up for yourself. 
fake. Um, there's somebody who always be talking in your ear, blah, 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 blah. You ain't this, you ain't that. You did this wrong, you did that wrong. And you just be in your head like, oh, my bad, I didn't do that wrong, I didn't do that wrong. And you beating yourself up about it like, oh, I suck. But like, no, bro, look, I did the best of my abilities. I'm sorry you were not pleased with what I did. Stand up for yourself, because now you know. You ain't let them treat you any type of way. And you let yourself know that you will not allow people to treat you any type of way. Facing your fears, like doing something you're afraid of, say you're godly terrified of bungee jumping. Once you go bungee jumping, you'll realize there's nothing to be afraid of. And now anything that scares you, you're going to look at it differently and be like, oh, I did that one thing that scared me. So I can do this one thing that scared me. You're building up a list, you feel me, of qualifiers, of things that you've done that go to show you can do whatever it is you put your mind to and once you start to believe that you can do whatever it is you put your mind to man you become dangerous and that's when the confidence just be oozing out you don't even got to speak you just be sitting in a room and somebody look at you like that's a confident confident being you feel me and that's what i want for you I don't want y'all to be nervous out here. I don't want y'all to be anxious out here for what? We are all people. We are all humans. We all bleed the same blood. And as far as we all know, we gonna die the same type of death. Completely gone. You feel me? I don't believe that we just die completely, but we nobody can explain to us what happens. We all was born very similarly, and we gonna die very similarly. So don't be afraid of no flesh being. You feel me? Don't be anxious for nothing. You feel me? Whatever it is you want is within reach. It's within grasp. You just have to believe it. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. You feel me? Now go and get it. It's coming from the lone wolf Chuck Diesel. We all about to be confident, competent beings out here. If I got to come personally, say it to you. Just let me know. Drop your name in the comments below and I'm on my way. <laughs> Peace.